Hello everyone, good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm looking at the camera so rough right now, but today I'm going to be doing a day in my life vlog. I have a lot of homework to do. I also have an exam for ANP tomorrow, so it's gonna be a big productive like homework vlog studying for an exam slash so preparing for an exam vlog i also need to get my covid test today i don't know if you guys saw my last video but i did go to new york city for my birthday weekend which was so fun i had a great time and i did vlog the whole weekend however i'm waiting to get my covid test results back before i post that video because i just feel like i'm gonna get hate for that i just want to get my results back and show that i'm negative before people are like oh my god that's so responsible like like i totally get it but also I feel like people, especially like being inside all these months, they're really like hypocritical and really judgy, like extra judgy for no reason. Like I've seen so many influencers get like all these negative comments and people are just being really nasty these days. So I want to avoid that as much as possible. So I do have to get my COVID test today. But yeah, it's currently like 9.15. I slept in a little bit this morning just because, I don't know. I just wanted to sleep in a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna go inside and take my temperature just in case. I took my temperature yesterday and it's like totally fine. I don't feel sick or anything at all, so I'm pretty sure I'm fine. I just wanna make sure that just in case I'm like an asymptomatic person or whatever, like I just wanna make sure. Um, and yeah, I don't have to do anything else today. I might babysit later, um, but I don't know because I don't get, I won't get my COVID results back for a few days. But anyways, let's go inside and make some coffee get some water and yeah this is already two minutes and 35 seconds great also guys the kids at babysit got me these duncan socks literally duncan socks So while I was watching that YouTube video, my professor sent an email that the Wi-Fi at his house went down. So now our exam is due on Thursday, not Wednesday, which is great because that gives me an extra day to study because I have not really studied that much yet. I did a little bit of studying for that video, but that was in the video I posted last Wednesday. It was like the study with me, how I take notes of my iPad, which if you haven't seen that, I'll link it up here. It's a really good video. I'm actually really proud of that one. And I started studying a little bit in it, but then I was like, I want to actually retain this information, so I stopped. But anyways, all of that's in that video if you want to check that out. But now I'm going to start doing um, my English homework because now that that exam is in two days, I can, I'm going to start studying for it tonight, but I need to first knock out all of my English stuff because I have four English assignments and three of them I'll get done. Two of them I'll get done, like 10 minutes. The uh, outline for my essay is probably going to take me like 10-15 minutes and then my teamwork assignment I have to talk to my group members so I might have to like reach out to them and ask them about that and then I probably won't be able to finish that till later just because I have to wait for them to write me back.
Alright guys, I'm literally going out like this. I really don't care. Um, this is just my Gals in the Go hoodie, some purple leggings, and Nike socks. So, that's my COVID testing outfit. Okay guys, so, I guess I should take down the skeleton dude because it's not really Halloween anymore. Okay, well there's that. Um... <laughs> Oh jeez. Okay. Well, I'm in my car right now. I have my camera on this little tripod thingy. I'm kind of scared that it's gonna like fall, but I guess I only know if I try. Um. So yeah, I'm like nervous. I don't know why. Like, there's literally no reason to be nervous, but I just am. I just get anxious for things like this. Period. Like, just going. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, it's kind of hot outside, Loki, and I'm wearing a gigantic sweatshirt, so that's kind of a fail. Um. But yeah, guys. It's a beautiful fall day. I'm very excited. Alright, so we finally made it here. Let me go on the website. I have my like insurance card and everything. So it's a drive through test. So I guess I'll go on the drive through. Got here like early, early because I'm like, you know, nervous. So I'll just like wait here. I also am like really hungry. I need to get something to eat, but um, I don't really know what that is yet. There's a McDonald's right here. McDonald's smells so good, but I feel like I should maybe do something a little healthier <laughs> just for my own personal enrichment or whatever. But Okay, so plot twist, I actually take it by myself in the car. Um, so let me see. Sorry, the lighting is really bad. Okay, so what I do is place this in the container. Okay, um, so I open it like this. And I take it out. And then it says, I stick it up into my nose for 15 seconds. Hey guys, it's Editing Sav from the future of this video but the past for you because you'll be seeing this anyways that's not important but what i'm trying to say is this is just your warning if you don't want to see me stick this clot and swab up my nose then just skip to this time in the video so you don't have to watch that i just thought i would include me doing the test just in case anybody was curious at what it's like it didn't hurt at all um i it looks like i didn't stick it up my nose as far as it felt like i did but i felt like it was literally like up here like i was like tearing up because i was like ah but it didn't hurt at all um, and my results came back in like three days and my results were negative, so I don't have COVID, so hooray. And I don't have any symptoms or anything either. So, yeah, go me. Love being COVID-free. But yeah, anyways, enjoy the video. So I guess I'll just like, as far as it can go. <coughs> ah, my eyes are watering, okay. It's not, it doesn't hurt, it's just my eyes are watering for some reason. And I do it in this nostril for 15 seconds. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I keep sneezing! And then I break this in half, she said. And then she said to put it in the tube. Like so. Put it back in here. And then I close this bag up. And yeah, that's my test, I guess. That's crazy. Okay, wait, y'all. I got something in the mail. Don't wait. Flip it over. I don't want my address on it. I got one of these things. Somebody sent me something. So let me open it. Oh my gosh, is it a monkey? Oh, it's a monkey in the card. Is that a rose? Oh, it's a flower. I had a flower and I just messed it up trying to film into it at the same time. Someone loves you. Oh. Okay guys, so the last clip I showed you I think was me unboxing the little um, monkey that Kaylee got me. So Kaylee for watching this, thank you and I love you, it's so sweet. But I actually got another package which I'm super excited to talk to you guys about. I moved downstairs also because the sunset and it's like dark and I hate daylight savings really. It's just stupid, like, I mean it's not stupid but like why? 
why is it dark so early? It really is upsetting me and my homegirls. <laughs> I got another package and this package is actually super duper exciting. So I'm really happy to announce that I'm officially a FabFitFun partner for this winter season, which is awesome. And if you don't know what that is, basically, um, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and explain to you guys what FabFitFun is. It's essentially like a subscription service where you pay a certain price per season and you get a whole entire box full of all these full-size beauty, lifestyle, fitness, um, like health products and it's a really great way especially for a college student on a budget like I know for me like I you know I like to spend my money on little things but I can't obviously go shopping whenever I want and the fact that fun box is awesome because it's a way for you to try a whole bunch of new things a whole bunch of brand name drugstore all these different kinds of things for one price per season so I think that's super cool so I'm going to show you guys what I got in my winter box and yeah let me just show you guys and this is not to brag I'm just saying if you're a college student and you want to try a whole bunch of new products out this is a great way to start I'm gonna like hold it up and show you basically so first of all the box is like super cute it has this really pretty like winter decoration like I low-key want to like reuse the box because it's really cute and then you open it up and then obviously it's it's up really nice Ooh. okay so let me see it just comes with all these information so that has this really pretty sticker it says fab it fun on it it has oh this is like a credit for like a wine something about wine i mean i can't drink wine yet but this is great i'll give it to my mom see if she wants to use it um oh i got 80 dollars off hello fresh that's cool is it and this is just all the stuff that comes with it. Um, and this is like the little catalog that it comes with. And then I think inside the catalog it tells you like the full prices of everything in here. So I'll show you guys what I got in my box. Here's just a little sneak peek. I'm super duper excited. And all I had to do was fill out a survey and then they just sent me the box. So super exciting. The first thing in this box is I think, oh, I think these are earrings. Okay. So these are, oh, these are so pretty. Okay. Kate Spade New York Rise and Shine Stud Earrings. It's a set of two. This alone is originally retailed for $68. That is freaking insane. This box only costs $39.99 if you use my code. So that's crazy. This product alone is worth way more than you pay for the box. Next thing I see is the Below the Belt Croc Card Case. Huh, that's cute. This is like a little wallet. Okay, that's super cute. I love having like little wallets like this though because like they're really easy to just like put stuff in if you're like going somewhere really quick and you don't want to have like a big old huge wallet. Next thing I see is, oh, this is what I'm excited about. So this is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Exfoliator. It's the pore perfecting exfoliator. I've heard a lot of good things about like um, kind of stuff like this, the microdermabrasion, or is it pore dermabrasion? I know you're not supposed to use stuff like this like every day, but I think like once a week or like once a month, it'd be really nice to have something like this. The next thing I see in here is this says, what is this? Eutanic Beauty Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. It says, place these hyaluronic acid infused eye gels on the under eye area to reduce any puffiness. Interesting. I kind of want to get more into like stuff like this. Like I feel like this is like a very adult skincare like thing to have. Um, they're just like eye gels. I'll show you guys what they look like on the little pamphlet because I don't want to open them right now. But yeah, that's what they look like. This next thing, I think, what is this? This is a Aesthetica liquid eyeliner. Okay, this is good because I actually did need a new liquid eyeliner. Because I used to use the e.l.f. ones for a long time, but mine like dried out. Um, let's see, this one is, this retails for $21. It is a high impact liquid liner that glides on easily and stays on for hours. Perfect. Like whenever I go to work on the weekend in American Eagle, I like to like I do kind of more fancy makeup and stuff like that. So this would be really fun to do for that. That's what it looks like. Oh, this is the Daily Concept Daily Facial Dry Brush. I have been seeing a lot of TikToks about like dry brushing. I didn't know they made them for the face though. Huh. And the next thing that I see is, I think these are like socks of some sort. Let me open these up. Mook Luke Mukluk. I don't, I don't know how to say that. Correct me if I'm wrong. These are the Muck Lux Cabin Socks. It says these cozy cabin socks feature a faux Sherpa lining to keep you warm. These retail for $25. Oh, guys, I'm about to wear the heck out of these. I'm very excited about that. And the, ooh, the last thing in the box. Oh, this is exciting. So the last thing I see is, is this Impressions Vanity Company Touch LED Makeup Mirror. This is super exciting. Because, I don't know if you guys know, but last year for my birthday I got an LED mirror, but it was from like Amazon and it doesn't really work that well. Like it already doesn't work and it's only been a year, but impressions vanities are like so popular. So this is really exciting. This alone retails for 
$45. Oh my goodness. This is like the second most expensive thing in this box. That's it for my little Fat Fit Fun Box unboxing. I think I'm the most excited about that impression mirror, the Kate Spade earrings, and those cozy cabin socks because it's cold in my room. Y'all know how cold I get. Like, it, it's no joke. And those socks are going to be chef's kiss so if you guys want to get a fat fit fun box of your own the winter box has a whole bunch of different items that you can get like let me show you guys really quick there's a whole like every box is made differently you take a little quiz and then they send you the stuff that you chose based off the quiz so there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can choose from makeup to skincare to fashion stuff like they have these lily pulitzer mugs like a vera bradley organizer if you guys want to get your hands on a fat fit fun box if you use my code savannah fff 10 you get 10 percent off your first box which would make it 39.99 so you're paying 40 dollars for over 200 dollars worth of stuff which i think is an amazing deal especially as a college student and you get to try all these different things like a lot of these brands i've never heard of before so i'm really excited and thankful so thank you to fat fit fun for sending me this box and i'm so excited for you guys to try it and if you guys do try it out let me know down below and let me know what you get in your box because i would love to know we could talk about it and compare okay, so i'm about to go upstairs but um my like happy light is I think I set my alarm this morning. I set my alarm for 7.15, but it never went off. And I think I set it for, I think I set it for, oh, I didn't set my clock up right. Hey guys, so it's literally 10.37, is it gonna load? It's literally 10.37 and I was doing a workout and I just totally forgot that I was vlogging. So I just wanted to end the vlog really quick. I'm really sweaty, lol, gross. Let me turn on the, it's like so bright for no reason. Thank you. Anyways, I'm gonna just end the vlog here because I'm in the middle of working out and I forgot that I was vlogging today, so silly me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to this point, I love you endlessly. Sorry for the background noise, it's my dehumidifier. And yeah, I hope you guys liked today's vlog. Comment down below what your favorite part of today's vlog was. I would love to know. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys in the comments. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.